All right, just got back from the auto parts store with a new tank, $165.99. Also got a fuel filter and fuel sock, fuel strainer, whatever that's called. Alright, looks pretty good. Got a little different design for the baffle in there. Actually got a metal, a metal dish in there. Barbs. Looks like it just slips. Over that. Yeah, look at that. Wow. That thing is definitely clogged. Maybe I can even get away with just knocking it all out. Now that the fuel's dried, it seems to be coming right out. Holy moly. There's two different kinds of fuel socks or fuel strainers. One was centered and then the other one had a, a port that was pretty far off to the side like so. So I got the one that looked most similar, but I don't know, maybe I got the wrong one. Actually, you know, it kind of looks like that slips over that. That doesn't make things easy, though. I have to snip those off and get some hose clamps. Up there locking this in so this pump needs to come back and out for that to come out yeah I think it's gonna save myself some work and a little bit of money that cleaned up pretty good I think I'm gonna call that good on that save that this, this stuff is brand new so ring connector. All right, there we go. Everything switched over. 
So I should have done it in the first place. Found a big old, found a big old pile of sand collecting up in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and suck that out with the uh, um, vacuum. Cause that'll hold moisture and rust this thing out. bottom piece there we go all right that one actually fits good bottom side that's hard to get to up there connector got damaged whoever makes these things are skimping on the ground wire by about three inches so it's kind of dangling on that if I, uh, next time I'm going to be adding wire to lengthen that because look how much length we got on this like I don't know how okay last connection Connected. Okay, everything's hooked back up. One thing's for certain, next time I work on a fuel tank on one of these trucks, or this truck, I am cutting a giant f***ing hole so I can get all of this stuff easier. This is, I can't get to the ground wire. That's all really bent now, but at least it's still intact. 
but that's how that comes. It's got it twisted a little bit and it tightened. All right, got the old filter out, and I certainly did see a whole bunch of brown nastiness come out the back side of this. This is looking pretty clear, but I'm gonna run it through a filter anyway. Get these siphon back in there. See if this battery still has any charge. Nope. I need to find me a bungee. is either slowly going flat or it's slowly sinking into the ground. Seems like every time I look at that it's a little bit deeper.
Oh yeah. Yeah, that's no good. I'll wait for that to cool down, slip it back on there, and... Yep, that tire was sinking into the ground. I wonder why. It's got a soft spot there. Air for him. All right, got a chunky tack on there just to hold that thing in place. It's a pretty snug fit once I shoved it back on there. It just seems like it wiggled loose. Clamp's not doing its job. Should work for now. Probably gonna get a whole new exhaust at some point. But that should, that should get me by. Mm, that's good. Trying out some pork riblets tonight. They were only $3.62 for about three dinners worth. A little harder to eat because of the bones, but yeah, that's pretty good. A side of uh, green beans and corn would probably go really good with this. Okay. All right, you guys. This is going to help out a ton. Getting to town, getting parts. Or I might just sell it. I'm kind of pondering that idea. And I might try building my own canopy for the back. I was thinking about building a camper, but that's too much work. So um, I was looking at canopies on the marketplace 
found one for free, but uh, the people were pretty shady and it just didn't work out. So I think I'll build my own. Don't want to go too tall, too much work. I'll just do a canopy sized box on the back, enough to put a mattress in and maybe in my fridge. Or just, uh, we'll just rough it so I can get to, back to Washington, get some things taken care of and have a place to sleep. But I also might just sell it because uh, I don't, I don't want to go up there and get myself stranded. I also need new tires really bad and those are way out of my price range. So yeah, I might just sell Rusty. I don't know yet. One thing's for sure, I need to go catch up on some sleep. My insomnia this past week has been the worst it's ever been, it seems like. I like the canopy idea. I just don't want to put a bunch of work into doing that and then have this truck uh, have something else go wrong with it. I feel like I should sell it while I can. Or just take a chance, I don't know. I think the little mini truck camper or canopy idea will make for a good video and it'll get me back into the RV topic of things. I know some of you just are only here for the RV stuff and that's just too bad. It's, I don't have any RV stuff to film right now unless you want to send me an RV. So yeah, getting work done under the tarp here on patches and I will hopefully be able to start her up soon.